how to scan for unusual options activity directly on Think or Swim. And again, guys, this is not going to be as pretty um, as some of the software that's out there. Um, by far, uh, one of the ones that I found to be the best uh, from what I've seen myself and what others have told me has been Blackbox. They pretty much lay everything out for you nice and pretty so you can find things uh, and even go back in historicals and kind of go through all that stuff. Uh, and if you want to check Blackbox out, go ahead and check that link below on the description. But if you are not into uh, paying for the subscriptions and you kind of want to figure out, because the data is available already to you and you want to see if you can figure it out right on Think or Swim, yes, you can figure it out directly on Think or Swim. And here's how you do that. So let's say you have a watch list. In my case, I like to use my volume average scan, which you guys may already be familiar with, right? So I like to go through my volume average scan and I want to see what has an increased amount of volume uh, relative to the last uh, 30 bars on the daily, even on the 10 minute, whatever. So let's say I'm looking at this uh, list here and I want to go through this list and I want to see, hey, what is uh, breaking out? And obviously these work out really, really well in the morning. So let's go ahead and just start looking through these, right? So I have this list up and I'm like, okay, man, this is good. I'm, I got a nice list here, but what is actually uh, having unusual options activity? Uh, what is actually breaking out? So like, you know, APTO has been on the list since this morning. And as you can see here, I had a nice little rally. Uh, so let's start at the top and see if we can just start going down. And I'm like, okay, but how do I identify which one is actually going to be the best one for the day? Right, look at this one. I wanted to know, hey, is this having unusual options activity on the put side? And I'm pretty sure it has, right? So RLX, um, VIAC, this one has been uh, coming up since the market opened. And look at this beautiful drop, right? So again, the list has been here and has been popping up. And I'm like, okay, well, how do I know which one to trade? And, you know, so again, obviously this is going to take a little long to load if I start going through all of these. But you get the idea, right? Uh, the list uh, generates, hey, these are the stocks that are have uh, a significant amount of volume. Now let's find which ones we want to trade. So then again, boom, here we go. The second list that I have here also scans, it scans that list. So that it tells me, hey, which ones do you want to go through? So now we go through these and we're like, okay, well, let's see what the 80, uh, these already changed $3.28 as you can see here. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. And let me just move this down here. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at those. And look at how those change, right? And again, you can get these lists from those uh, softwares available, Flow, Algo, Blackbox, and I believe there's a couple others out there. But if the data is available to you, why not take advantage of the resources that are in front of you? Now, the key is to narrow the list down so that you don't get bombarded with data. As you can see, the only thing that you can't get here is a timestamp. Um, and I'm, trust me, I've tried. And on the next video, I'll show you how to monitor uh, options flow directly on Thinkorswim, which is another big thing that the softwares uh, like to offer you. Uh, the only problem is it's tedious, right? You have to do an extra step. It won't be all in your face. But uh, the pro to that is that you won't be bombarded with too much data all the time. So that way you're properly analyzing things before you actually trade. But as you can see here, the 80 puts went from a low of 78 cents all the way to 435. So even if you were to pick these up for $1.50 here and they went to 435, as you can see here, boom, they were there. So and as you can see, the list just updated again. And all you have to do is just, hey, which one of these do I want to take a look at? And, and you know, you go through both lists and you go through there. So let's go ahead and go over how to find these. So you, and you basically set this to whatever watch list that you have. It doesn't matter if it's a volume one, it could be whatever watch list you like to use. And just like, hey, it could be just the one stock that you're monitoring for the day. So you want to say, hey, you know what? Find me unusual options activity on this list of five or 10 stocks. And that's what you want to do. So how do you do that, right? And again, guys, the system isn't perfect. And I've noticed the same thing with a lot of the softwares as well. Not all of them are perfect. Um, sometimes it just gives you skewed data, uh, but it is what it is. Um, but for the most part, these tend to work out very well. For me, uh, I, I like the results that I'm getting and I get them pretty fast because it's on the system directly. And when I click on the chart on, or on the uh, contract or stock, it directly sends it to my chart, which gives me the flexibility to trade it right away. 
So what you want to do is basically uh, go ahead and go to Options Hacker, Stock Hacker, it doesn't really matter, honestly, I've noticed that it works either way. And you're just going to create a new scan. And what you want to select is Options. So you're going to add a new filter, and you're going to select Option. And you're going to select Volume. I personally like minimum of 500 um, volume. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't trade anything that's at 500. The only reason I leave it at 500 is because I want to see catch them as they're rising on the open. And what I mean by that is I don't want to wait till we've traded 5,000 contracts before I start seeing something pop up on my list. So I basically want to see it going. Um, then uh, from there, I go in and analyze the options change to make sure that it actually has significant volume and liquidity for me to want to actually trade this. Second filter I'm going to add is option net change. I want to see it go up by at least 50 cents. Um, again, you can adjust this as necessary. Um, and you may want to lower this again. Uh, so this is something you may want to consider. Hey, maybe I want to see it at 15 cents. I want to catch it as it's going up, not after it already rallied two dollars, right? So that's something to consider. So, you know, you can say, hey, you know what? Let me save this at 25 cents. I want to see, hey, I do want to see it moving, but I don't want to wait till it's already given up so much profit, right? And then last one, at least, is you're going to add study and you're going to go to custom. And here, this is the one really that I got to show you. So you're going to go to click edit. Again, add, uh, add a new filter. You're going to add study. And then all you're going to do is you're going to set these parameters. Volume is greater than open interest. So, okay, volume is greater than open interest. And you can pretty much do this on the condition wizard. Uh, and this is what it looks like. So you're going to go to volume is greater than open interest. Okay. And then you're going to save. And then you're going to set it to options. So this is the important part here, guys. You have to set it to options. Otherwise, it's going to search in stocks. So you want to search for options, not stocks and options, just options. And then sort it for whatever, by whatever uh, filter you want. So volume. Uh, for me, I have it sort sorted by volume day, right? So then you want to sort it. And then you run your scan. Boom. And then it's going to give you this list. And as you can see, here's a percentage change for all of these, right? So FIAC has been on the list all day, all morning. And as you can see here, look at the percentage change on these ones, right? So 2000%, right? Um, and it's at 294 is the last. And here's the large list. And then it's a matter of just, hey, let's narrow this list down even further. And then you can narrow even this list even further for what you want. And again, it isn't pretty. It's not giving you a timestamp of when you got it. Um, and, and it's not giving you, hey, um, a, a nice little title like a sweep or block, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But on the next video, I'll show you how to see, hey, how much money was actually put into the trade, how, how many, how much uh, money is actually flowing into the stock on the option side. Uh, so stay tuned for uh, monitoring the flow on Think or Swim, and I'll see you guys in the next one.